Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Dentistified. Today's video is about the retention aspect of cement retained implant restorations as you might have already guessed from the title of this video. So there are various factors prevailing in the clinical situation which influence the longevity of an implant restoration. And one such factor of immense importance is the selection of connection between the abutment attached to the implants and the final prosthesis. And this connection between the abutment and prosthesis can either be screw retained or it can be cement retained. The clinician must possess a good understanding of uh, their properties for selecting the ideal prosthesis for each clinical case. So a series of videos will be coming up on my channel wherein I'll talk about different characteristics of uh, screw and cement retained implant restorations and their influence on aesthetics, retrievability, retention, passivity, occlusion, accessibility and so on. But for now, today's video is about the retention aspect of cement retained implant restorations. So yeah, you should continue watching this video. So before starting with the topic, I would first like to put forward two points so as to avoid any confusion further in the video. First thing is that do not confuse between the two types of connections. That is, first is the implant abutment connection. That is the one which is between the implant and the abutment. And the other connection is the one which is between the abutment and the final prosthesis as you can see in this picture and what we are going to discuss is the connection between the abutment and the prosthesis which can either be screw retained or it can be cement retained okay and the second point which i wanted to clarify was that do not confuse between the abutment screw and the prosthetic screw the abutment screw is the one which fixates the abutment or we can say two piece abutment over an implant and the prosthetic screw or the coping screw is the one which retains the prosthesis over the abutment as you can see in the pictures in case if there's still any confusion i would suggest you guys to watch my previous two videos on implant components wherein i have explained in detail about the implant components in a very simplified manner links for those videos will be provided in the description box below for you now let's talk about the retention of uh, cement retained implant restorations. You know the security of retention is considered to be one of the most important factors influencing the longevity of an implant prosthesis, right? And the factors that influence the retention of cement retained implant restorations are more or less similar to the conventional fixed prosthodontic procedures for natural teeth right and a sufficient abutment size dimension and form are required for adequate retention so the factors influencing the retention of uh, cement retained implant restorations include first is taper of the abutment then surface area of the abutment and of course height and width of the abutment then the surface texture of the abutment and finally the type of cement used now let's talk about the first factor affecting the retention of uh, cement retained implant restorations that is the taper of the abutment. So the ideal taper of opposing surfaces in natural tooth preparation is reported to be 6 degrees and this being an ideal taper for an implant abutment as well. That means ideal taper is uh, 6 degrees for natural tooth preparations as well as for the implant abutments and the parallelism of implants directly affects the taper of their abutments. If the implants are not placed parallel to each other, that means when there is non-parallel implant placement, then in that case they may require further preparation and uh, tapering of the abutments. And why this further preparation and tapering of the abutment is uh, required, this is basically done in order to enable an ideal path of insertion for the prosthesis but this would ultimately then result in over tapered abutments and uh, hence finally there would be lack of retention for the cemented restorations 
Now the second factor is the surface area of the abutment which definitely influences the retention of uh, cement retained in plant restorations. So greater the surface area it would result in greater retention and the wider implant has better retention due to the increased surface area which it provides. So the height of the abutment is another factor which influences the retention of uh, cement retained in plant restorations. Greater is the height of the abutment, it would provide more retention as compared to the short abutment and a tall abutment obviously it provides more retention. Why? Because of the increase in available surface area. The increased surface area helps in providing more retention. Right? And uh, the higher the abutment, it would also provide greater resistance to lateral forces. So basically these lateral forces tend to uh, rotate the processes upwards on one side of the implant along the arc of rotation as you can see in this picture. So what I mean to say is that the dislodgement of this cemented restoration occurs along the arc of rotation due to these lateral forces right and the height of the abutment should be greater than the arc of rotation as you can see in part A of this picture and a wider implant requires greater height as compared to a smaller diameter implant in order to resist the lateral forces or the tipping forces as you can see in part B of this picture. So the point is that in order to prevent the dislodgement of a cemented restoration the length of the abutment should be great enough to interfere with this arc of rotation of the restoration and at least 5 millimeters of abutment height is needed uh, for proper retention and resistance of uh, the cement retained crowns right but in clinical situations where there is limited inter arc space which requires an abutment shorter than 5 millimeters in such situations a screw retained restorations are indicated and these low profile abutments uh, are advantageous for bar retained over denture applications why because the lower height of uh, the screw retained bar offers greater room for denture teeth and greater thickness of acrylic and this greater thickness of acrylic is much needed for the strength of restoration right width of the abutment is another important factor which influences the retention of cement retained implant restorations so as i have already explained that when we compare two abutments of same height that is the one which is with the smaller diameter and the other abutment which is with a greater diameter but both the abutments having the same height then in such a situation the abutment which has smaller diameter has increased resistance to lateral forces whereas uh, the abutment which is having greater diameter provides increased retention against the vertical forces or the axial forces and why it provides increased retention this is due to the increased surface area which is available for bonding to the cement okay next we'll talk about the surface texture of uh, the abutment so the micro retentive irregularities on the abutment surface results in increased surface area for bonding of luting agents hence it results in increased retention now the last factor which we are going to talk about uh, influencing the retention of uh, cement retaining plant restorations is the type of cement used the cement used within plant restorations can either be permanent or provisional and it is the clinician's decision to choose a certain type of uh, cement based on the clinical situation analyzing various factors like the number and location of abutments 
and height and width of the abutment also the degree of taper of uh, the abutment should also be considered then comes the retention and resistance form and finally the design of the abutment you know the cement layer basically acts as a shock absorber and how does the cement layer acts as a shock absorber by enhancing the transfer of load throughout the prosthesis implant bone system now i would like to tell you something very briefly about the concept of provisional cementation so this concept of using provisional cementation is basically considered in order to achieve restoration retrievability without endangering the implant restoration components when there is loose restoration or when the abutment screw loosening occurs right and the second thing is that since there is no risk of decay for the abutments provisional cements can be used why because the provisional cements being weaker than uh, the definitive cements it will permit the retrievability of the restorations therefore the provisional cementation along with the ideal taper of the abutment and longer walls allows to control overall retention of uh, the restoration as well as its retrievability so yeah that is it for today i hope this video was helpful for you all and it helped you get a basic idea and a better understanding about various factors influencing the retention of uh, cement retained implant restorations my next video will be about implant screw mechanics and uh, the retention part of the screw retained implant restorations wherein i'll talk about various factors and various screw parameters affecting screw loosening so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching today's video i'll see you very soon in my next video like button and share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge make sure that you are subscribed to this channel that is defied if you haven't already and if you don't want to miss out any of my videos in future do press that bell icon which is next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified each time i upload a new video till then take care i'll see you soon in my next video